Hi, boys and girls. Hi. We're excited to share with you another story today. This one comes from God's book, the Bible, in Matthew chapter 13. Why don't we, oh, I guess we could sing our special song before you move back, right? Let's sing our special song to help quiet ourselves for the story. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. All right. Well, we had such a good time with the parable last week, the parable of the Good Samaritan, that I thought we might want to tell another parable. This looks like it could be a parable, doesn't it? A gold mm -hmm. box. Parables are like gold because they're very precious. But also looks like a present. Parables are like a present. They've already been given to us. And it has a lid. Parables sometimes seem to have a lid. But when you lift the lid, you discover that there's something pretty incredible inside. Let's see what's inside this parable. Hmm. This is an interesting color. Orangish, goldish. Yes. Livendi. What was the? What did you say? Livendi. Livendi. Livendi is a brightish, orangish, grayish color. Oh, you're making the name of a new color. Hmm. Maybe I'll set it out like this. I don't know what would be so bright and orange. Yes. The sand. Sand. It does look a little like sand, doesn't it? With some ripples in it. Okay. Hmm. Once there was someone who said such wonderful things and who did such amazing things that people began to follow him. He told them about a kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. But the people didn't understand. They had never been to such a place. They didn't know anyone who had. So one day, they simply had to ask him, what is the kingdom of God like? And he told them, the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, you might say, is like this tiny mustard seed that a farmer sows in the field. It's the smallest of all the seeds but it grows and it grows and it grows when it grows it becomes the greatest of shrubs a tree branches large enough for birds of the air to come and make a nest right in its branches. I wonder if you would like to put a bird 
coming next on the branch. Would you like to add a bird to the branch? There are so many birds. At home, maybe you can think of which bird you would want to add to the moth. I wonder if these birds are how these birds are feeling in this mustard tree. Happy. Happy? Like, <laughs> this is your bird, oh, is he feeling happy? Like, I wonder how many birds could actually live in that tree. Over a hundred. Over a hundred, you think? Maybe a hundred. It's quite a spacious tree. I think like 90. Because mm. a tree in our backyard can fit like 100. I wonder if you could take this whole tree and put it back inside the tiny seed. No. I don't think so, right? Well, God can. God can do amazing things. I wonder if you ever imagined that such a big tree could come from a seed so small. I have a seed to show you. Maybe you can see that at home. That it's just not a tiny seed. That's a mustard Ow. seed. And it grows into a giant tree. Jesus said this is what the kingdom of heaven is like. This tiny mustard seed becomes all of this. I wonder if this tree will just keep growing and growing and growing. It will. Yeah. It'll grow and grow and grow, and, and then eventually it'll die. And then, and then its seeds will grow another one. Another tree. And it keeps on growing like people. Oh, growing. That's right. And the kingdom of God keeps on growing and growing. The kingdom of heaven keeps on welcoming all those who find a home in its branches. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your peace, your love, your rule that continues to grow in our hearts and in our world as your spirit moves. Thank you for bringing us home to you, God. Thank you for all the beauty and love that you show us. In Jesus' name, amen.